Hi guys, Melissa Johnson Hate Independent Sensi Consultant back with you again today. And I have my quarterly Sensi Club and my December Whiff Box, which is the half price item that I pretty much always get, especially since they made everything exclusive. I, although these flowers aren't exclusive. I'll have to see what the deal is with the point set of flower. Hey Mike, Mike is behind me. If you can see him. <laughs> I see a tail. Or is it Charlie? Oh, it's Charlie, never mind. Um, so this is the fastest that I've ever gotten a club order. Like ever. Um, so from that standpoint, I really love December. Um, because this charged on the twelfth. Sorry, my bangs are doing weird things. Um, this charged on the 12th and I think it said printed the very next day and it sat printed for like maybe two days and then it shipped and I was like, holy cow, I've never, never had it this fast. So this is exciting. So we'll go over to Whiff Box. Sorry if I spoiled that. Tell me there's a flower in it, but that's the excitement of the Whiff Box anymore because they're starting to do exclusives. So I have some new bars that I've never sniffed that will save till the end, but let's go over the bars that I did put in my club. Now this quarterly club has been with me from the very beginning. I've changed bars in it. Um, this bar has never dropped. <laughs> I don't plan to drop it. I really love it. Um, this is my most prized club, even though I have like Graham Cracker Crunch in my bi-monthly club. This quarterly club, I would be heartbroken without certain bars. This is one of them. Um, one of my top five ever from Sensi. This is the Catching Z's collection, Snuggle Up. Um, if you love Jammy Time, you would have loved this. I wish they would bring this back. Um, I wish they would allow us to vote on it. It's gorgeous. Now, Allie from Allie's Amazing Scents. I've heard her say that this is a mix between fuzzy blanket and woolly slippers. I don't know. Um, because now that I've had the exclusive, I haven't melted it yet. But now that I've sniffed cold, the ex the amazing woolly slippers, um, thanks to Brandy, um, and I've had fuzzy blanket, sort of. Um, I mean, I see where she's going with it, but I just kind of think of it as literally a cousin to Jamie time. Um, I would club both. <laughs> I, I've never, I never got to try the Hugga collection. So, um, I think I have pretty much tried them all because in, oh, in bundles and the clearance, they let us have a couple of them like Clementine. Quiet Clementine, there's a cabin one, cozy cabin maybe. And then Wooly Slippers, I think there's one I'm missing, never having tried from the Hugga collection, but um, which is like European for like, um, um, I don't know if it's Swedish or Scandinavian, I think it's Scandinavian for like comforting, cozy um, is what Hugga stands, H-Y-G-G-E. Um, but I love this. Um, to me, it's like, I think Fuzzy Blanket is a, is a similar to this, but Fuzzy Blanket is so light and I have this that I did end up dropping Fuzzy Blanket and just hung, because I can't keep them all, you guys. I literally can't keep them all. And so I made the decision to just drop Fuzzy Blanket. Honestly, if I had woolly slippers, depending on how it warms, would I drop it? Probably just to keep snuggle up. Like, this is such a strong performing bar. Um, it'll last a week in my bedroom. I do the whole thing. I do four cubes in the polar panorama, four cubes in the diamond milk glass. But it literally lasts a week, if not more. Um, <clears throat> this was my favorite, and I still have hung on to this because I love floral. You guys, if you've watched me long enough, know. Um, this was from the Moment by Moment collection. This is Down the Aisle. I'm obsessed. This is like the prettiest candy sweet floral. Like I would wear this as a perfume. Oh. 
No, I guess it's okay color. I mean, you see like on the edge how it looks a little, like it's been around a while. I don't feel like peeling the sticker off to see the poor date, but um, this is so pretty, so pretty. Like this is me. Like I get the candy sweet and I get the pretty white creamy floral. Like I think that's gorgeous. So I've hung on to that one. I dropped Bora Bora Blossom and Showered in Flowers because they're all fairly similar and I kept down the aisle. Um, I cannot imagine my life without this. This is a top five scent from Scentsy. I like I've said a million times, I've hunted people down for this. Um, this and Cinnamon Bear, this is Cozy Fireside. I literally can't imagine my life without this. It's cinnamon and clove buds. And I think it's the, it's red hot cinnamon and clove buds. I think it's, I get no fireplace or anything weird. It's just the prettiest scent ever. Like ever. Like, I, every time I smell this, I think about when I was in school, grade school, making pomanders, putting the clove buds into the orange. There's no orange in this. But I get that same clove scent, clove gum. I think it's the scent note is ginger. Like, the heck it is. This is literally clove. And red hot cinnamon. Um, this one... I think I might take this out of my club. Um, I thought about trimming them down and pairing and combining them and then I'm okay and then get it every three months and then do in and out clubs. Um, but I kind of like having the half price item be the whip box. I don't know. I haven't really made up my mind. If I do have to combine, I would have to trim these down quite a bit. I just hate when they all three come at once. I don't like that. <laughs> That's expensive. Um, and that might happen in March. <laughs> like crap. Um, but this is gingerbread buttercream. Um, I love this. It gives me kind of a caramel butterscotch feel. Almost kind of like a Werther's candy. But when I'm melting it, it's light, lighter than I want it to be. Now I do, when I do it down here, I do one cube and eight warmers. I could try amping out it up to like four cubes and one warmer, four cubes and one warmer, see if that does better because on the bottom of the dishes, Oracle said, <laughs> from the mouth of Oracle, um, the, Recommended scent throw is on the bottom of your wax dishes, and that does work amazing in my bedroom. So, but I'm not sure, I still not, I'm still not sure I would get gingerbread. I mean, look at the little gingerbread men. Like, I love that, but do I need it? Probably not. Um... This is my favorite strawberry scent from Scentsy ever. Um, to me, this is literal frozen strawberries, uh, strawberry swirl. This is literally frozen strawberries and vanilla ice cream. It's a strawberry milkshake and it's authentic strawberry to me. I've heard people describe this as artificial and I'm like, have you ever taken <laughs> frozen strawberries and made a smoothie? This is not artificial to me, but that's okay because every nose smells something different. What I like, you might not like. I'm obviously always the odd man out because I love floral. Most people don't. Um, I love the smoky, the, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I just love it. So I've kept it because I don't like any of Scentsy's other strawberries except sun ripened berry i love that but i missed putting that in my club so i've hung on to this one um i literally get the ice cream and frozen strawberries in that one um I'm trying to think 
This is one I can't imagine my life without. So this will stay in my club for a good long time in the artwork on this one. Oats and honey. Now on cold, I get a wet dog. <laughs> Um, but on warm, I get the oats. I get something so decadent, rich, ooey gooey. I love this one. Like this is a bakery I can fall in love with. Just like Graham Cracker Crunch. It's rich and decadent. It doesn't give me that weird waxy smell that a lot of bakeries seem to give me now. I love this on warm. Love it. Um... It's great as a mixer on its own. It's amazing. It's a great performer. I also can't imagine my life without this one. It's been in my club since it came out. It smells authentic to me. It's what started Scentsy. It's banana nut bread. Um, on cold, yeah, you do get the um, artificial banana. But the way it mixes with the bakery in this comes off very authentic to me. Like when banana bread is baking in the oven. And I love it. I love everything about this and I cannot imagine my life without it. That's another bakery that I need that in my life forever. Um, <clears throat> let's see. This is one of my Scentsy top five fragrances ever. I think this is better than Lilacs and Violets. If I had to choose, this would be in my club. I usually don't club Lilacs and Violets because of I have this one and I think it's better. It's less, it's fragrant, but it's less intense. Um, it's Blue Hyacinth. It's so pretty. It's like a light, almost, okay. The note that is in Woodland Suede that, that reminds me of um, Concord Grapes. I get a slight hint of that in this. So that really sweet, pretty, it's in Apple Press too. Um, I almost get a little bit of a Kleenex tissue vibe with this one, kind of like Cozy Cardigan does the same thing for me. Um, and then you get that like blue hyacinth. Like if you've ever smelled the little, um, which this looks like lilies on the front of this one, but blue hyacinth, they look like mini, okay, there's lilac bushes or trees, and then there's blue hyacinth, which come up out of the ground and they're lilac shaped. That's a blue hyacinth, which the picture doesn't match that. But this is so beautiful. I love like the periwinkle color, like the bluish purple, right? On the camera, it's looking kind of blue versus purple, but it's like a bluish with a hint of purple. Oh, you guys, it's it's heavenly. And if you think lilacs and violets is too intense, vote back blue hyacinth. I cannot recommend this one enough. It's gorgeous. Um, and then we might as well talk about woodland suede. This is beautiful. I seriously get Concord grapes. Like the purple grapes and you can suck the, the the inside of the grape out of the skin. Like it's a dark purple skin and then the inside is like green. This kind of looks like a like snot. <laughs> and these always have seeds in these grapes, but they're such a fragrant grape. And if you've ever had Concord grape wine, this is it. What is it? Like Manischewitz or something that's really cheap at the liquor store? Oh, I love this. There is like a tree note in it, like a soft, but I'm mostly getting Concord grapes from it, like authentic Concord grapes or Concord grape wine. And I think that's why I love Woodland Suede so much. Um, kind of obsessed. <laughs> and this is another wonderful bakery. It's an oatmeal raisin cookie to me. It's from Raisin Cookie. I, I, it literally smells like like an actual <laughs> oatmeal raisin cookie that I love. Like a lot of times, like Dale's always into the um, chocolate chip cookies. Sometimes I like them, but sometimes the chocolate is just too much. It's too sweet. I don't want it. I would rather have an oatmeal raisin cookie. Um, like a lot of times I'll go for the raspberry. Um, 
or like the white chocolate macadamia nut, which is a little more sugar cookie. My favorite Christmas, my daughter wanted all of the like peanut butter balls and chocolate chip cookies and like pretzels with um, a Hershey kiss and like a caramel M&M on them. Um, what else? Oh, the Dale's favorite is the peanut butter blossoms with a Hershey kiss on top. My favorite was the snickerdoodles. Like it's less sweet and overwhelming. I don't know. This this is an oatmeal raisin cookie to me and I love it. It's a good performer too. Um, This has been in my club since it came out. Like at the beginning, then when it was, I knew it was coming back for Bring Back My Bar and the last Bring Back My Bar, I took it out and I popped it back in. It's Plum and White Woods. It's just pretty. Um, I personally like this one better than Lavender White Balsam because Lavender White Balsam comes off a little sharp to me. Um, this is not sharp, but it's very perfumey. Like I would wear this as a perfume. It's like a pump, pump, <laughs> plum perfume. It's sweet, it's pretty. It's fancy and sophisticated, yet it's wintry with the plum. Oh, I love doing this in our bedroom. Um, I love that one. So that's back in my club. When I love a laundry, like snuggle up, I love a laundry. Um, I'm obsessed with Pima Cotton. To me, it's so much like um, windowsill breeze. It's soft, like clean breeze to me. Now, some people think this is really strong. I think it's because they're a little sensitive. Um, I think clothesline, I can't do clothesline in wax. I can't, it's way too strong. Um, I think I tried three cubes and it was way too much for me. This, I do the whole thing and it's not too strong for me. I think it's soft and it's beautiful. And there are days I just want my house to smell like, and like my entire house is hanging on a clothesline and it's a beautiful summer day and the sun is shining and everything is clean and there's a beautiful breeze. Oh, this is so clean and so soothing and calm to me. I just love that so much. Pima cotton. Can't imagine my house without that one either. Um, I, this was from, was it Valentine's or Easter? I think it was Valentine's. I love this one. Um, I don't like artificial rose. I do like authentic rose and this is pink sunshine. Can't remember the scent notes, but uh, I get like authentic, like red rose, like actually in your garden red rose and like some candy sweet pretty floral you know the floral is the rose but the candy sweet <sighs> like this is divine to me like I want this kind of scent spring summer I would do this year round though if I'm in the mood for it I pop it in a warmer like I love this in the bedroom I love this down here because it's not artificial rose and it's authentic, like a, like an actual red rose, that's why I love this. Um, it's zero artificial rose. And it's just can't, it's like your husband got you a dozen red roses and a box of candy and not chocolate, but like maybe sweet tarts or I love pink sunshine. It's beautiful. Um, let's see, I put this in my club. It probably won't stay. I do really like the way the tree comes off in this one. Um, and I kind of have a love-hate relationship with some of Sensi's um, trees. This is Season of Magic from Disney. This has, like, it's tree. But there's... It's like candy sweet tree. Um, 
it gives me like some just for you vibes. Um, can't remember the scent notes anymore. It's just, I mean, there's something almost slightly camphor about it too. But whatever is making it like a can, like sugar crystals, I think it has in it. That's what makes it like candy sweet. It's not sharp to my nose and I actually really love it. So for now, um, it's in my club. I'm sure it'll come back next year. I just feel like it will. Um, I, I, I didn't really understand club or the hype or why you even wanted a club. Um, when this came out, I think it was like a September or October. Might've been September, set of the month. I just started August 20th, so I really didn't understand what was happening. <laughs> Not this August 20th, August 20th of 2020. Um, and I miss putting this in my club and I'm so glad this got voted back. This is Ghostly Greetings. Um, oh, there's patchouli in this. I love patchouli mixed. I don't know what it is. Not always like um, in the current Bring Back My Bar. No, hard no, <laughs> to lavender vanilla. Mm -mm. This is like, it's dark, but to me it's not like Halloween Town dark. To me it's like, almost like cedar wood, um, dark. And like the patchouli, but there's, I think there's some kind of a dark plum in this. This is sophisticated to me. The way that they've done this bar. Granted, I probably wouldn't do this like 4th of July unless I was really hardcore in the mood. But I love this in the fall winter. Like I would melt this in down here on a really cold day. You know, like when it's snowing and it's like a blizzard and it just is warm and comforting. No, I just, I, I love ghostly greetings. I, you've, this is a love or hate bar. I think because of the patchouli, I think because of whatever wood is in this that makes it dark. Could be cedar wood. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I do know it has patchouli. Um, and it's not one of the scent notes that immediately pop up. You've got to look at the, when it was scent of the month and it lines them all out. That's where it tells you it has patchouli in it. Um, let's see. This bar I've had in my club since the beginning. It was the very first bar I've ever put in my club. I have even had people gift me some. Um, it was the scent of the month before I started. I think it was June, July. Um, so it was from 2020, but it hung around. So I stuck it in my club. I'm obsessed with this bar. <laughs> um, it literally smells like liquid sunshine to me like literal liquid sunshine. Um, if rays of sunshine had a smell, this is what I think it would smell like. It's floral. I think that's why a lot of people don't like it. Um, it's welcome summer. But to me, again, it's that candy sweet floral. Oh, you guys. <gasps> I love sweet, beautiful, creamy. Uh, I think Scentburn lists me as like creamy white floral. Um, soft, creamy white floral. I don't always, well, um, sometimes there is a certain white floral um, in like Thunderstorm. It, it, it kind of gives me a little bit of a headache. Well, it does give me a headache. I don't know why I'm saying kind of. <laughs> it does give me a headache. Um, this does not. Like, I smell candy sweetness in this. Like, it literally instantly makes me happy to smell this bar. I, and I love yellow. <laughs> I mean, um, 
aqua. Where is that? Aqua is my favorite color, but I really love yellow. Like this is my favorite color, but I love yellow. It makes me happy. I think it's beautiful. Oh, you guys, this is just the prettiest, sweetest, brightest floral. I don't even know what florals are in this, but this is me. <laughs> oh, so you'll see me club a lot of floral bars. I wish I had a lost Tay Tiger Lily. That's another one that I'm obsessed with. You guys were sweet enough to gift me probably enough for life. Um, I have a lot. I have over 60 bars. Um, you guys are amazing, and I appreciate it more than you ever know. Um, but that's another one of those florals that I'm just obsessed with. Like it makes me, it makes my soul happy. Um, and Welcome Summer does that. I can't imagine, it's one of my top five Scentsy bars ever. I can't imagine my life without Welcome Summer. That's why this club is precious to me. Um, this bar, <laughs> um, it's been in my club since it came back and bring back my bar. I've considered dropping it just because I'm like, well, I could go get the body spray. Um, I mean, Maleficent gives me similar vibes, but I've taken <laughs> Maleficent out thinking, oh, the villains are coming back. And then <laughs> which one didn't come back? Maleficent. I'm like, of course. <laughs> but um, the first time I ever smelled this, I cried. Um, because it's, it's a dupe for Victoria's Secret love spell. It's lucky in love. I was obsessed. No, I didn't. I went to a Christian school and nobody wore Victoria's Secret love spell. So I didn't know about Victoria's Secret love spell until, um, I was an adult and I would go into Victoria's Secret and I'm, I'm obsessed with body butter. And I would buy, whenever they had sales, I would buy tubs of like body butter. Um, I would stock up and it was my favorite thing. It was just so pretty to me. So I was in my 20s when I started wearing, probably late 20s, mid to late 20s, when I started wearing Victoria's Secret Love Spill body butter. <laughs> um, some of the body spray, but mostly body butter. Then they changed the for formula um, and I broke out in hives and I just bought like seven jars of it and, um, had to call Victoria's Secret and they gave me a gift card, um, and I had to give it all away. Um, so that's why I was obsessed when this came back in bring back my bar and I've had it in my club since. And whenever I think about getting rid of it, <laughs> I'm just like, no, I can't. It's just too pretty. Um, and it just, oh, it's like peach and um, cherry. It's just so pretty. And I know it gives y'all like some high school vibes, not me. This is, this is my, you know, Cassie was, <laughs> was born. Like this is, I, I wore this up until they changed to formula. Dale and I first got together. So this brings back what I smelled like when he and I were first together. So he loves this too. I just, I think it's amazing. So that's Lucky in Love, one of my top 10. Um, it makes me sad. Um, that people don't like this bar and that's okay. I mean, not everybody can like everything. Um, this is too strong for people. I do the entire thing. <laughs> like literally the whole thing is not too strong for me. Um, painted leaves. Now it has some kind of a eucalyptus. I don't know, I don't really smell that. Um, I mean, if I think about it, I think I can smell some eucalyptus. I love this. It's another bar that makes me happy when I smell it. Um, so I took it out and I knew it was coming back, took a break, and now it's back in my club like Plum and White Woods. I live in the Allegheny National Forest in Pennsylvania. This smells like 
in the fall when the leaves just start to change and they're like yellow and orange and, and you're walking in the woods early in the morning and the sun is bright, but the, there's still a little dew on the, on the ground. And like you're in the woods, so you smell, it's almost like maybe someone cut down a tree and you can kind of smell some of the tree. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I love painted leaves. Um, I guess it's not real popular, <laughs> but I loved it. I think it's magical. Um, it smells like nature to me. And sometimes I just want to put a bar like that in and feel like I'm, like if I close my eyes, like I'm sitting in the middle of the woods um, on a beautiful fall day. Um, and I just want to smell nature. Um, yeah, like if I'm just zenning out, <laughs> I just want to smell nature. Um, so I, when, I did not like this bar when it, when we had it first come out in Bring Back My Bar, there was vanilla suede and then there was vanilla oud. And I briefly had vanilla oud in my club and I took it out thinking, well, I, I can't save all the bars. I could totally kick myself because I didn't know since he was going to be super stingy with vanilla oud. Um, it's weird because you see all kinds of perfumers with oud. Even like some vendor waxes do vanilla oud. <laughs> so I don't know what the problem is with Scentsy and vanilla oud. Like it was supposed to be in the bundle. They never told anybody it wasn't going to be in there. They pulled it and never sent out the bundles. And, and a lot of people bought <laughs> bundles just to get their hands on vanilla oud. Well, this one, now that my nose has matured, um, I appreciate this and I think it's beautiful. At first, this was kind of like cologne and it bothered me and I didn't like it. I don't get cologne anymore. Um, this is, I'll settle for this till I can get some vanilla oud. This is beautiful though. Um, it, it's, it's a rich, creamy scent like, um, caramel chestnut has a rich creaminess. I get something soft like baby doll faces. So I kind of think it's like a creamy vanilla. There's something rich and decadent about it, kind of like the chestnut and caramel chestnut. I don't know. I think it's gorgeous. This matures like a beast. <laughs> so this has a beautiful shelf life. Um, I've had people gift me some before this came back. Um, and, um, it was gorgeous, gorgeous. The way that, and this is a vanilla that mine, I don't, this doesn't smell to me anything like weathered leather. I hate weathered leather. Um, this is just fancy, creamy, decadent, beautiful. I really love this bar now that um, I don't have it to compare against vanilla oud. Um, people did gift me both, and I don't know if it's just my, my nose has matured. But I, I don't know if they changed something, but this is beautiful and I love it. <laughs> um, let's see. So the, these two, um, I loved, I really love what they did with the spring summer catalog. Um, I'm not really a fruity fan, but I loved every single one. And I wish I could have hung on to them all. Every single one of the summer um, bricks that they came out with, I loved. I loved every single one of them. And that's never happened to me. So when I made cuts, these were the only two that I have now. The only two that I've hung on to. Um, Orchard by the Sea. Um, I swear I get some um, Atlantic air. So I took <laughs> I took Atlantic air out of my club. Doy. 
um, because I got that from this plus more. Plus this has a really pretty apple. Um, it's kind of like the apple that's in apple press without so much of the Concord grape sweetness. But that fresh, bright, sugary, sweet apple and like Atlantic air is where my brain goes with this bar and why I kept it in my club. If it came down to making cuts, this might be one of them. Um, but I really love this bar and don't want to cut it. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, but over some of the others, I don't know. Just because I still have half a brick, two thirds of a brick. This one though was my favorite brick. I can't imagine my life without pink apple and nectarine. Oh my gosh, this is pretty. Um, so to me, it's like you mixed apple press with cozy cardigan is what this smells like to me. And I think it's magical. This is so darn pretty. Um, I half wonder if I should mix apple press and cozy cardigan and see if it doesn't smell just like this. Again, it's floral, it's pretty. <laughs> I do, I get the Kleenex tissue of cozy cardigan and the sweet, the sweet Concord grapeness of apple press. I think that's magical. Um, pink apple and nectarine. Can't imagine my life without that. This bar is one of my top five Scentsy scents ever. <clears throat> cannot, literally cannot imagine my life without this. This was, spoiler alert, because I plan to do a video. Don't know when, maybe this weekend, um, to do the work on it. And maybe Monday, well, Monday's Christmas, right after Christmas. Uh, do my year in review. Spoiler alert, this is my favorite bar from Scentsy from all of 2023. I think it's the best bar in the whole wide world. Ocean, air, and coconut water. Oh, heavens me. Oh my gosh, I literally think this is magic. And I think it's because, especially when it's warming, I get like the zinc oxide almost smell of suntan lotion. I'm still looking for a banana boat. <laughs> um, oh, this is so pretty. And it's, it's not that it's a soft bar, like it's a good medium, medium, you know, maybe even a six or seven out of 10 medium bar but the notes in this are soft. So there's sweetness, there's fresh air, like, like if you were to mix Sand Swept, my favorite, one of my top favorite bars um, ever from Scentsy that I lost. <laughs> if you were to mix Sand Swept in Atlantic Air, a little zinc oxide, Something like a little coconut from like blue coconut beach, like a soft, creamy coconut. Oh, you guys, that's, that's magic. That's magic. That's right up there with Sandswip. <laughs> Best bar of 2023 from Sensi in my personal opinion. Um, there's one here that, um, that I'm curious might be a favorite. <laughs> um, so I have a Melters Mixers idea for this bar. So I put it in my club. Is it going to stay in my club? No. Um, but I haven't had it since I got my Cinderella carriage. It's Cinderella Happily Ever After. Um, yeah. Now this has some floral in it. I kind of think it has some gardenia. But this can be slightly headache inducing. It's that white floral that goes a little sharp. 
Um, could I melt this whole bar? I could, but it might give me a headache. Do I like it? Yeah. Would I wear it as a perfume? Yeah. Um, it's reminding me of a perfume. Is this like Estee Lauder Pleasures? I used to wear that as perfume. Obviously, I wouldn't make, spray this, this intense amount. Or is it... Is this like Clinique Happy and then Hey Tiger Lily's Clinique Happy Heart? Or is this, I think this is Estee Lauder Pleasures. Oh gosh, it's been a long, it's like when Dale and I first got together, I used to wear that perfume all the time too. Is this Estee Lauder Pleasures? Getting a vibe. He's bringing back a memory. Mm. Um... I can't remember if this is strong melting though. Like with my nose all up in it, it's, it's a little intense. But I can't remember if it's a strong performer, if it's just medium light, like maybe a four out of five. Um, well anyways, I have a melter's mixer so I need to do with it. Um, but the other half, I might, I just warm that half in the office for the bedroom. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that will stick in my club long enough to get a couple now that I'm thinking I stay a lot of pleasures. Um, so I have two bars here that are current catalog scents. I keep having like <laughs> melter mixer thingies and I can't quite melt these bars. And I, you know this one, don't you? <laughs> From the color. I literally want to just melt this entire bar, so I keep putting it in my club around the campfire. It's like a sweet smoky and I love it. I love it, it's so sweet um, and it's smoky. Like my daughter hates this bar and I'm obsessed with this bar. And it's a it might smell a little intense here, but I swear when it's melting and I do the whole darn thing, four in this room, four in that room, it's 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 only maybe a four or five out of 10. And it's so freaking cozy, especially in January, February, when it smells like crazy here and it's cold. I love this. I will totally club this bar. I do not trust them not to bring this bar back because I'm not sure it's super popular. But those of us who love it, love it. And I can't imagine my life without that bar. This one, I'll club it too because this was when I first started. December 2020, scent of the month. And I've been obsessed with this bar ever since. Cannot imagine my life without it. Arctic Kiss. And those freaking polar bears. You remind me of Ursula. Um... I had a star named after her. Um, I have a certificate. I got a certificate for her husband and I got a certificate for her sister. Um, this has like honeydew melon. This is year round for me. I mean, forever flannel, it has a similarity. This has like some honeydew melon It's just, it's creamy, it's beautiful, it's fresh. It's cozy to me, and I can't imagine my life without Arctic Kiss, and I really want to melt just a whole bar. And that is the one bar that will literally kill just about every scent that you don't like, Arctic Kiss. Okay, now to the bar. Well, technically I've smelled this one. This is the Senspirations collection. <laughs> Um, now see these all have the cute little Sinspiration stickers. This one is just a regular, yeah, whatever. Um, so Christmas Cottage. I know this bar. I love this bar. I kind of thought about getting a whole brick of it. I love this. This is red hot cinnamon and some other stuff. 
Um, I smell a lot of red hot cinnamon and I love this one for that. Um, to me, this is quintessential Christmas. If I might club this, although I don't know, what did they? Oh, vanilla bean buttercream is still around. This, no, you know what? I'm not going to club it because I always club cinnamon bear and this is like a whole lot of cinnamon bear. I feel like you can mix cinnamon bear with a lot of things and get something. I think it's gorgeous. Another <laughs> thing about Christmas Cottage, but because it's Sensi's most popular bar this time of year, which is interesting because this is definitely spice. <laughs> Um, to, I mean, this is red hot cinnamon. This is hardcore red hot cinnamon. And people don't seem to always love the spice. But, um, yeah. So, I'm not going to club that because it's super popular and I don't see them getting rid of it. Okay. This one. The packaging, though. The packaging. Let's talk about that packaging. What? That's so cute. Okay. Um, this one I got in a scent circle in a whiff box. Well, it's a cottage. It's not really a circle, but I put it in my car. I did not like it for like the first couple days. Now I get in and I'm like, oh, that's nice. What is that? And I'm like, oh yeah, it's this. <laughs> in scent circle form. Okay, the bar is not bad. Actually, the bar is, when I first took the scent circle cottage out of the, this is, did I tell you this is Christmas Cottage Cider. When I first took it out, it was really intense on the cider. So I'm getting, oh my good Lord. <laughs> I'm getting quite a bit of the um, Christmas Cottage, the red hot cinnamon, and the cider isn't as intense. I like it. <laughs> I was gonna hate this based on the scent circle thing. Okay, the bar is better if you like red hot cinnamon. Oh geez, I can't imagine keeping these in my club, you guys. I need to make room. Um, okay, I like that one. Okay, the one I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like. <laughs> Based on cinnamon, I think from the current Bring Back My Bar, not melted it yet, but cinnamon is weird. <laughs> um, this is Christmas Cottage Mint. Look at the snowflakes, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's not as weird as I thought. Okay, so it's less intense than cinnamon. Weird. <laughs> I don't know, it's still got a weirdness to it. I don't think cinnamon and mint, even though it's like a buttery mint, I don't think cinnamon and mint go together. I'll warm it. I love the sage color. Um, I don't know. I thought I was going to hate that and I don't. Weird. Okay. Last but not least, oh, look, at the, look at the art. You guys, whoever is the artist, and I literally typed this into the end of the month live, don't know if Dan noticed. I'm like, whoever is your artist, like they need a raise because I'm dead serious. Whoever's doing this art, like they're amazing this year. Oh, this is Christmas Cottage Wreath. This might stay in my club. <laughs> Holy crap, I like this one. Whoa, I like this. This is like cinnamon and pine boughs. But it's not super intense tree. It's not sharp tree. Oh, I like some woodsy. I'm like obsessed with woodsy lately. Not like masculine woodsy. But like woodsy. <laughs> I'm loving, and I love that forest green color. Um... It's not quite as intense as forest green, but I'm trying to think what Crayola crayon that would be like pine. 
Yeah, forest green is like dark green. This is definitely like pine. <laughs> oh, I love this. Pretty sure this one might stay in my club. Wow. Hmm. I love Christmas Cottage Wreath. Oof. That's my favorite of those. Although I'm still a huge fan of um, Christmas Cottage all by itself. Um, never smelled these bars. <laughs> this is the Wish Bar Magic in Every Wish. Look how cute. My daughter almost went to see this movie, but her dad decided not to take them to movies. Um, sorry, I don't have the scent notes. I just got citrus. <laughs> I think I watched, oh, it has a bloop. It has a bloop. Um, I watched Ed Harrison do this one and she's talking about the lemon. And I'm like, I love lemon too. Oh, 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 yeah. Is it the best lemon? No, I still think. Don't come for me. I still don't think lemon sorbet is the best lemon. Oh, but that's good. That's better than squeeze the day or sunken citrus. That's vibrant. Um, is this like yellow? I have the yellow bar. Okay. So, you know when you get the little fruit slices and you get the lemon one with the sugar? This is a lemon fruit slice with sugar. <laughs> Do I want to pay 50 cents extra for this bar? I might. <laughs> wow, I love that. Now, I can see how lemon can come off cleaner, but I think that the sugar crystals that I get in this don't lean cleaner to me. Oh, that's beautiful. I, it's making me salivate. <laughs> wow. Dale's going to hardcore love this. He loves citrus. I actually, I prefer citrus over um, fruity. That's a good freaking bar, you guys. I think this might be going away. Is this one going away? Um, consider clubbing that one. <laughs> and the one that I'm most anticipating, I watched um, Robin H. do a review on this. And I was like, oh, this sounds like I need this. And the packaging alone, this is worth 50 cents to me. Okay, I love the color. That's more... It's leaning more... <laughs> I'm a color snob. Um, it's leaning more turquoise than it is aqua. But it's not quite full on turquoise. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. Okay. This is the happiest cruise that ever sailed. It's a small world. Um, the art. <laughs> I love this. Um, is it as amazing as ocean air and coconut water? No. But is it good? Yeah. <laughs> Does it give me a similar fresh air, watery vibe? Yeah. Oh, that might be my new favorite thing. Okay. I'm, so I'm getting a slight soapy in the most beautiful way. Um, oh guys. Okay. Um, I think I smell something citrus. Slight. It's not as intense as Wish. It's, I shouldn't say intense, vibrant. This is mixed really well. Um, there's something almost fresh air sand swept without the dusty rocks. Um, I can recognize in that bar what you guys call dusty rocks, even though dusty rocks doesn't come to mind. Um, This is like the most perfectly blended, slightly soapy in a very light way. It's very clean. It's very 
fresh, but not laundry. Has an ever so slight citrus, like a whisper of citrus. Oh, this is beautiful. This is, this is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's the, I mean, can we just appreciate the color of my this? Okay, wait, wait, let's just have color school for my this a second. Wait a minute, bear with me, you guys, you love me. Okay, this is aqua. See how this is a little more turquoise? But it's not like dark turquoise. And I don't have teal. Teal is very dark turquoise. <laughs> you guys, that's magical. That's great. <laughs> oh my word. Like, I literally don't want to stop smelling this bar. Okay. Um, that's beautiful. Um, I literally don't, I cannot think of how people could, I'll be, okay. <laughs> I, I can't possibly imagine someone be, being offended by this scent. If you don't like this scent, comment below, because I need to know, and why don't you like it? What is it in this that you don't like? Because I literally think this is one of the most crowd appealing bars. And so well blended. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what category this is in. Fresh, maybe? It's, it's not laundry, but fresh in the way that like Arctic Kiss is. Oh, this is even more laundry. Oh, <laughs> wait. Leaving at the end of the month, and you guys, I need to message Idea Portal. <laughs> Let's just say, if you have not tried Arctic Kiss in the laundry, if you're able to buy that by the end of the month, please buy Arctic Kiss. I wish I had money and I could buy another set. I got the washer whiffs in a whiff box and that's my absolute favorite washer whiff ever in the entire world over Ocean. I never even got to get Ocean. I'm gonna try really hard to get Farah the Flamingo because I really, really, really wanted her. I voted for her. I need to at least, if nothing else, get the little tiny Boris the Yeti and Farah. Um, I'd like to get the Mama Hippo if it's still available. Or Henrietta? I don't remember her name. Um, but if if I had, if, if overtime was crazy and it's not, <laughs> like we were a little bored today, <laughs> um, if I had overtime, I would be buying some Arctic Kiss. And the washer whips, I'm not even joking. I'd be buying Ocean for my son, but he doesn't even know that that got voted back, so I just won't tell him. <laughs> um, and I, you guys, that's the best washer whip ever. And if you've not tried it, please try it because it's magical. <laughs> I just want to say that before it's gone on the 31st. But that's really beautiful. Um, okay, if you like ocean, take ocean and tone it way down, like half ocean. The Whisper of Citrus. Um, I'm trying to think of something to compare this to. I think if you were to mix ocean and maybe sand swept, you would get something similar. little whisper, that little whisper of citrus. I, I'm going to ramble <laughs> because I don't even know what to say about that one. That's magical. <laughs> I literally, I, I'm running out of things to say. That one's so good. Okay. Last but not least, the whiff box. Sorry about my rambling, but yeah, that, 
It's a Small World Happiest Cruise that I've ever sailed. Yeah. Okay. This is the December with box. Spoiler, I'm opening it now. It's like the, tomorrow's the 20th, I'm sure. If you haven't seen it by now. Oh, I forget that they, okay. I forget that they take the flower and they separate it now. I don't get, I feel like that's more cardboard. I don't understand why they did that, but. Mary Everything, it says, there is so much holiday spirit nestled inside your December whip box. These hand-picked products give a festive twist to familiar scents like peppermint and pine needles. Uh, let fragrance lead the way to a holiday season filled with merriment and joy. Okay, so here's the point. So it says Radiant Rose. Was this offered? Was this scent offered? I think it was, wasn't it? Candy cane buttercream. I mean, I'm like super excited about it, but um, you guys, can someone explain why they're separating the box? Like, I guess it's like the same size, but why are they doing this? I'm confused. Um, is the oil colored? Nope, it's red. It's red. <laughs> it's white. It's clearly white. It's not red. Um, <laughs> I'm worried about my mental health there. And then the Radiant Rose Poinsettia. I'm super excited. Poinsettia, Poinsettia, however you say it. <laughs> Here I say Poinsettia. Um, oh, it's really cute. Look at that. So I've never had one of these. This is fun. I do have um, the colored oil one that someone gave, gifted me that I haven't used yet, um, but I've never had one with the, this color. I almost got the the villains, but yeah, money. I don't have a limited supply of money, so I didn't quite get it. Now look, the color in the box comes off in the box, so. I can see how the color, I feel like this is a little, littler than the normal, but I like it, it's cute. Um, and it's, well, I have this on a stand in my bathroom and the cats don't get up there and bother it. Um, they always sniff my waxes, like, and they're like, and then they back away. They want nothing to do with it, so I wouldn't be worried about them trying to eat this, like a real point set of this poisonous. To cats. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. I'm still baffled by the multiple boxes, but whatever. <laughs> I don't understand why they did that, but it's no big deal. They don't owe me an explanation, so just confused. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So there's a scent pack and polar bear hug. I mean, I don't. That's just an okay scent to me. Um, oh, okay. So, oh, I don't like this scent. <laughs> um, candy cane, no, what is it? Cranberry candy cane. I don't like the fruit with the candy cane. Although, this isn't as bad in the, in the pods. Yeah, I might put that by my back door. I still think it's weird, but <laughs> it's not that bad. I smell mostly candy cane, so I'm not eating that one. Um, and then there's two wax bars. This is my half price item, so I only spend, what is it, like $17.50 or something? What are they, like $35 now? Um... Okay, so when I first smelled this bar, I didn't like it because there's something funky on the bottom until I melted it and, w and the mix of everything was actually really good and pretty. Um, this is Golden Garland. So I'm actually happy to have another one of these. Um, oh, the bottom isn't as funky here. Hmm. It actually smells like the bar does um, when it's melting. That's, it's pretty. Um, it gives me some Scarlet Sunflower vibes mixed with like Harvest Blessings. 
is what Golden Garland smells like to me. Hmm, there's zero funky on this one. I like it a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I I mean, think um, Harvest Blessings and Scarlet Sunflower. Bless Floral. Or Harvest Blessings. Um, and then I'm so excited. Um, this is the scent of the month for January, the warmer that's going to be coming out. Super cute if you're not a consultant. Um, it's cute. It's like a candy heart on its side. It's really cute. <coughs> I would like to get it. I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Um, this is Candy Orchard. Oh, geez. Don't ask me the scent notes. I don't know. Uh, it looks like raspberries on here. Cotton candy. You had me at cotton candy. Oh, I like this. I would like eight bars of this. This is very me. Oh, that's pretty. Um, yeah, it's like a, a pink cotton candy. Oh, I don't like that a lot. <laughs> oh, and it's not like super obnoxious. It's just real fluffy cotton candy like like literally pink cotton candy mm. well I don't know I love that um I would totally love eight bars of that I will probably club this in a month if it performs okay um yes <sighs> okay love that <laughs> I would recommend this one it might be lighter though um I had to get through and bring back brine bars and stuff and then melt sense of the season and then this and oh my goodness, I have all the things. Um, thank you, Sensi, that you do this and you put this whole bar and it gives me a chance to melt them <laughs> without getting the whole kit. Um, you guys, that's my quarterly club. Um, those are the bars that I have, why I have them. Will they all stay? I don't know. Um, that's my December wick box. I'm loving it. <laughs> um, it's a good one. And it was fun. Um, I gotta keep this separate. So, I got my flower. Um, so yeah, you guys. Um, I'm saying um a lot. Sorry. <laughs> I've gotten cold before. How distracting that is. My apologies. So... That's the other thing I say in place of, um, so. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else to say besides those two words. I hope that was fun. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get words. <laughs> They're not coming to me. So there we go. I don't know. It's a filler for when I'm thinking. <laughs> and I, I swear I've never been diagnosed. I swear I have ADD and my brain just has 800 million thoughts in it. And I'm just trying to sort through them all. So pardon me if I say, um, so it's me trying to sort through my thoughts and spit them out intelligently. <laughs> Please forgive me. So happy holidays. If I don't see you sooner, Monday is... Christmas. I know Dale wants to do Christmas carols, so I'm hoping this weekend he may see us back. If not, we'll do it after Christmas, but I'm pretty sure he's thinking this weekend. Stay tuned. If we don't see you, happy holidays. Um, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Christmas, Merry Christmas. Or as I, I guess Dale said in Europe, they say Happy Christmas. <laughs> Merry Happy Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. I mean, you'll definitely see us for New Year's, but yeah. And that's all I have coming for Sensi, other than I really want to get Farah and I really want to get the mini Boris before they're all gone at the end of the month. I don't think I can get anything else. I'm going to try to get those. I'm not even sure if I can get those, but that's my goal. Yeah. Um, hoping to have bring back my bar warm reviews by the end of the, by the 31st. I really want to do my year in review by the 31st. So you should see me. <laughs> Bye guys. See you soon.